more questions so I have an excuse to take a longer break. Because I'm not ready for 60 more push-ups, I'll tell you that. Freaking pumped up already. Two rounds. But think about it, that's 12, 12 sets per round. So we've done 24 sets already. And that doesn't include all the band warm-up we did. 24 sets of actual work already in, in I don't even know, not less than 30 minutes because the whole first eight, nine minutes was warming up, stretching and all that good stuff. So we got like 24 sets in like 24 minutes. Straight through. Minimal break in between, no break during the round. That's, we did 12 straight sets, literally just switching out the weight, hitting the deck for some push-ups. Hydrate, stretch your chest, stretch your shoulders, stretch your tries, adjust your weight. You kind of felt exercises that felt too easy for the weight you had, or maybe some felt too hard. Do what this freak show is doing. He's got a whole bunch of different weights here, so he can switch it out. And he kind of has a good feel for what's too heavy, too light. I have to tell him, kids on autopilot, little freak show. Like he knows if something's too heavy, too light, and he'll just adjust it by the exact amount of pounds that's going to make it feel good for the amount of reps that we're doing. I don't know how he does it. Some weird shit. All right, enough of that babbling. Enough of the babbling. But it was a good excuse to take some break. Yes, little freak is killing it here. First thing in the morning before school, getting up to lift before school. And we'll be doing some cardio later tonight. Either some biking, some hill runs, or a rowing machine tonight. Inspiration. It is inspiration to me. All right, let's do it. Let's get down to the floor for our chest press. Let's get set up. Get your heavier weight, whatever weight you chose. And listen, this round of chest, we're going to attempt to alternate it. It's a little weird alternate because it's going to pull your body side to side. But we're going to try it out. So you're going to alternate your chest press with both arms moving the entire time. If you can't get the right balance and stability with both arms moving, hold one arm up and do one at a time. I'll show you both ways during the set, during the round. So get on your back. Get your dumbbells. Both arms are going to be moving. So while one, one is up, one is down, and they just cross paths. They just switch. Slowly control. If you start losing it with them both moving like this, you do this. Hold both up. Bring one down and right back up. Hold the other one up. Bring it down. Right back up. Once it's up, you bring the other one down. Or you can let them both move at the same time. Crossing paths in the middle instead of one at a time. Try both ways. Mix it up halfway through. Challenge yourself. Trick yourself. See, just when the chest thought it had it down, it was going to be easy, you switch shit up, and you confuse the shit out of your muscles. One more each side. Ha. Ha. Oh yeah, these, these push-ups are going to be a real fucking joy right here, let me tell you that. After burning out those alternate chest press, and I'm, only, I'm using 50 pounds, which is not a ton for chest press, but that shit will get you. Especially when you're adding push-ups after. Let's try to get 10. Come on. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me tell you, nine and ten were not as easy as they looked. I tried to make it look easy like I was cool, but that shit was fucking hard. <laughs> shit. All right, let's get up for our squat. Bring the chest up, or the, bring the chest up to your weight, I was going to say. Bring the you know, chest I'm getting, up to your weight. I'm getting freaking loopy with these push-ups. Bring the weight up to your chest. Or bring your chest up to the weight, whatever the hell works. Maybe you're a midget or Gary Coleman or something. Gary Coleman. Short guy in a TV show in the 1980s. Yeah. Breathe it out, in through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Drive it, control it. It's only halfway. 50. Breathe it out. That's just on the flashing the schedule, making sure I wasn't missing a call or something. Three more. Ah, back on the hips and heels. Ah, that's not even a break for the arms. That's bullshit holding that weight. Arms are shot from a, a squat. And then we gotta go right back to push ups. Quit your bitching. Quit your bitching. Don't be a little bitch. Let's go, 10 push ups. Bang it out. Yeah. What dumbass. 
Design this workout. Ten. Let me tell you, you are doing 10 push-ups per round, like I'm doing. After the third round, you'll already have done 180 freaking push-ups mixed in with these exercises. Some crazy shit right there. What are we on, bent rows? This round, we're going single arm on the bent row. So put in your right hand, right leg back, left leg forward, single arm. Your left hand can be supported on the, your right left thigh. And pull this straight up. Squeeze the top, control down. I'm gonna go 15 per arm. Five more, there's one. Two, three, four, high. Put it down, stand up straight, just get out of that position. Oh shit. Get a little lightheaded, clear your head. Yeah, get lightheaded like me and just ride the wave. That's some good shit. You'll never need to do drugs or drink alcohol the rest of your life if you train the right way because I get high as fuck every workout. Don't say that. That's why I've never done a drug in my life. Training, pushing myself, kicking my own ass is the only drug I ever need. Literally never even smoked weed, not even one time. And yes, I can talk about this in front of a nine-year-old because I've told him about drugs and weed and cocaine and crackheads and all that good stuff. Too afraid to talk about that stuff, afraid to curse, afraid to mention stuff, afraid to talk about real world shit to their kids and then their kids grow up being sheltered and see it and then see a gun and want us to know what a gun does and they go boom and they have an accident or their friends are doing their stupid drugs. So, oh, let me try that about. That's the secret. I never heard about that. That sounds cool and new. Kid knows about it already. Knows how to think about it, think about it on his own. As I'm telling you this lesson, it's also giving myself a rest before my 10 push-ups. If you didn't notice. Huh? Smarts. That's smarts. Push-up, 10, go. One, two, three, four, high. Eight, nine, ten. Go to shoulder press. Also, going single arm. So whatever arm you did first on the row, I can't even say a damn sentence without taking a breath. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Are you doing eight at least? No, I'm doing ten. You are? Yeah. This round we have 180. In the beginning, you start with ten. Yeah, I only I did six six. Shoulder press. Eight eight five ten. All right. So. Drive it. Breathe it out. Breathe out. Exhale when you push up. Tension on that shoulder the whole time. So it's not coming all the way down here, where it's resting and loosening up. We want tension. The muscle under tension the entire time. Switch arms. Get it up there. Throw it up. Breathe out. And good. Right after those shoulder presses, back to some awesome push-ups, dude. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. This is suckery. Ha. 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 Ho. Ha. Like looking at your feet, screw that. My 10, I'm done. I'm plopped. Knee hits the floor. Screw all that shit. All right, we are on deadlift. Get your weight. If you're going heavier, you only need 8, 10, 12 deadlift. You don't need a ton. We said shoulder. Deadlift. Snap out of the kid, you're losing it. You're losing it worse than me now. What do you have there? Get 25, you weirdo. Kid's got 25 pounds in each hand. He's a freak. I only have 50 pounds in each hand. And this little shit has 25 pounds in each hand. Holy shit. Grabs it tight. Back straight. You don't need a ton when you're going a little heavier. 8, 10, 12, that's all you need. percent dropout rate 
in the project, meaning they quit. They quit. It's like four people. No, out of 20, that'd be eight people. 10% oh, yeah. would be 10. I think there's an 18. A couple guys already dropped out the last couple weeks before. Jeez, mysterious, mysterious injuries. Oh, Alright, let's go. What are we on? Bicep? Bicep. This one we're going back to double arm. We're not going single arm or bicep because that's just too easy. Because you can do the same weight, double arm, you can do single arm. Going about 15. Squeeze the top. Connect your brain to your bicep. Squeeze it. Focus on the muscles you're working. It all is happening in your head at the same time. Let's go five more. Five more for each Huh? Five Last one. Whoa! Push ups and finish off the round. These will make it, if you've been doing 10 push ups with me, this will make 180 push ups you've already done in the last like 35 minutes, included with 18 sets of dumbbells. Think about that shit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a full break, full recovery. Listen up. We're gonna get a good break here, a stretch, a break, but we ain't done. We're going another entire full round. Still adding in those push ups. Straight through. We are doing it all. So recover, stretch your shoulders, stretch your chest, get a break, hydrate. We are about to, we're just gonna do one more round. That's all you gotta do is one more round. And after that, we might throw in some abs and core. Because we're all good on time. Little Freak doesn't have to be to school for another almost hour. So we'll be good. We are good. So we're going to get a whole full round, all 12 sets. And then we're going to mix in some core to burn out at the end. Of course, with some more push ups, suckers. Huh. So we've already done 180 freaking push ups, plus you've done 18 sets of dumbbells. Like, so first of all, give yourself some freaking credit. Give yourself a hairy knuckle freaking fist bump for doing what you just did in such a short amount of time. And let me tell you, this type of training, we don't have to go super heavy. This is how you stay sh in shape and stay fit all year round. Someone asked me one time, how many months of the year do you stay in shape? I said, what a dumb fucking question that is. 12 months a year. Why would I want to intentionally not be in shape, intentionally just dig myself in a hole, dig yourself in a hole for two months, it's gonna take two months to dig out of. Hell no. You stay in shape, you stay focused, you stay disciplined all year round. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. You should always be a couple weeks from your tip top, leanest possible shape. Not so you have to be shredded and ripped all year round. That's only gonna, when you get super shredded levels, that's only gonna last a, a couple of days or weeks. But you should be in shape and fit and conditioned, well rounded all year round. Where you can go and play, jump into any kind of sport or activity and have the energy and, and the endurance and the strength, the coordination, whether it's going for a 120 mile bike ride or playing a pickup game of basketball or playing football out in the street or going to do some hill sprints or going for a, a, a 15 mile hike in the mountains, that's what you need to be trained for. Everything, all year round. This is how you do it, this type of training. It's, it's supposed to be hard. If it was easy, everyone would be there. But you are part of the top few percent that is getting your ass up early in the morning making this shit happen. All right, that was a good little babbling speech to give my shoulders a little more break. Because yesterday we did two classes where we added push ups into both classes. So we are feeling it today. One more freaking round, freak shows. And we're good on time. So I'm going to give you a little extra break and a little extra recovery before we do this last round because you need it. You need that rest and recovery. We could go straight through with no break, but it's going to be a shitty round. It doesn't make any sense. So you get recovery, so you can freaking attack it. It's 12 straight sets. Like, if you're not sweating, I'm, I'm dripping sweat right now. If you're not sweating doing even your strength workouts, you're not going hard enough. If your goal is to stay fit, in shape, conditioned, possibly lose weight, looking good, feeling good and healthy, you should be sweating every single session. And we're in a garage, it was pretty freaking cold this morning in here, and we are dripping sweat. Going about 30 seconds. 
We got a lot of time left, so we're good. We are good. We okay. flew through those first three rounds. Flew through them. Back to chest press. We're going just to normal. Knowing that it's the last set, what I want you to do is completely burn out on this chest press. If that means you have to wait a little longer and keep going even after I stop, that whatever weight you have, I want you to burn out. If you can get 15, get 15. You can get to 20, 25, 30, especially after this break. I want that set of push-ups, that set of 10 push-ups after this first set of chest press to be damn near impossible. You're still gonna get it because you're a fucking savage, you're a freak, and you're a warrior. And you don't make excuses, but we are gonna go so hard on this chest press, completely burn yourself out on this last set of chest press, that those push-ups are gonna be freaking brutal to get 10. Let's do it. We're gonna get what we can. I don't know if it's gonna be 30. You can set a goal for a number for yourself, but don't stop just to get to that number. Stop because you're done. Don't stop because of a rep. Stop because of a work. Stop because of a work. Alright. Let's see what we got left in there. Burning these out. Going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Pump them out. Pump it. Pump it. Last set of these. Ten. Twenty. Oh yeah. push-ups for the day. We're done with it. Think about that. So let's do it. Let's get after it. What are we on here? So we just did squats, push-ups. We are on bent over rows. We're back to alternating. 
sticking with the heavy weight and alternating. Let's do it. Alternate sides. Seven, eight, eight. Got here, America Styles, Semper Fi. What's up, my man? All right, we are on deadlift. Final set of deadlift. Scoop them up. Two. Lean over at the waist. Don't go super heavy. Late in the game. Twenties. Drive at the hips. Hinge at the hips. I'll show you from a side view. Stick your ass back, head up, shoulders pin back, brace those abs a little bit in the knees, butt moves back, three more. Dump them. Ten push-ups. Oh yeah, we're almost done with this round four already. Alrighty. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for the record, we are doing peak freak push-ups. Officially a push-up, even in the military, the Marine Corps, as long as your upper arm goes parallel to the floor, they count that as a push-up. But we go above and beyond. We literally touch our chest to the floor every rep. Also, our feet have to be together touching. Even just a few inches apart makes them significantly easier. So we literally have done every push-up, feet together, touching, heel to heel, toe to toe, chest touching the floor, and full extension the arms at the top. Try out some peak free push-ups. See how that works out for you. Bicep curls. Going back to alternating. We are going to 25 each arm, so last set. Three, three, four, Four. Pumping out the arms for the rest of the day. Six. So that Six. pump will ride the wave. Seven. Eight. 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 Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Don't rock your body. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. 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 We're going to twenty-five each arm. Ten more inside. Sixteen. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 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 Nineteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. 24, 24, 
25, 25. Easy stuff. Last set of push-ups for this round. We are doing some of the abs. Don't think you're off the hook. Let's do it. 10 push-ups. Bang that shit out. Ten. Holy shit. End of round four, Austin Dog Types. You are freaking awesome. All right, Briggs, that's the end of round four, but not the end of the freaking workout. What we're gonna do here is some, some abs, some basic abs stuff, but it's gonna be flipping. We're still sticking with our 10 sets of push ups. So we've done so far four rounds times 60. We've done 240 push ups mixed in with 24 sets of dumbbells in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Give yourself a freaking slap on the ass for that one. How about that? And then we're about to just finish off with some abs. So we're gonna flip. We're gonna do 10 sets of push ups, flip over, set of abs. Flip over, 10 sets, 10 push ups, and abs to finish off, to burn things out. Take a couple of seconds, stretch, recover, and get your ass down on the floor. We did 240. So we're gonna do six sets of crunches, six or six sets of abs, which means six more sets of 10 push-ups to go out with a fucking bang. So that's gonna eat, make us at an even 300 push-ups throughout this workout. Think about that. If, you, if you've been sticking along, you've been doing this with us, give yourself some freaking credit. You're doing more here in this workout than most people do their whole week working out. We've already done 24 sets of dumbbells which means 24 sets of push-ups, which means 240 push-ups. And we're about to do six more. Think about that shit. So it'll end up being 30 sets, 30 sets of an exercise and 30 sets of push-ups within this 60 minute workout. And that include, that's faster than a minute per set. You think about it because we warm up in the beginning with the bands and the other stuff. All right, let's do it. So if we're down, so if we're down for the front, I'll, I know I'll be at 240, but then I'll be at Six, six, this is the eight, final five, round. You've been, you've been doing 10 most of the rounds too, once you got warmed up, right? Uh -huh. Second and round, third round. Even little freak shows doing 10 push-ups around. And real push-ups. Peak freak push-ups. 